Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Night of the Dead. So there's been a bit of a change in plans. I was going to go to the military base on day two, but I didn't think I had enough time for two major reasons. One, I wanted to work on the base, and you can see I actually have some construction going on over there. We're going to go over, finish upgrading it, and we're going to add some new traps. The other thing, well, there was an airdrop. Now, I did record retrieving it, and by the way, it was actually a lot farther away than you see. It was like way over here, which is the reason there's a new area exposed over there. The thing is, it only had common items, tier 1, tier 2, various qualities. Um, it also had one gold bar, but it also had, it had two more of these military base access cards. That's where we're going to be fighting the boss. Now, once we kill the boss, we can always go back there, reset the dungeon, and kill him again. Because I do believe he has a couple of unique drops that would be nice to actually have. So, we're going to do it tomorrow. When it's bright and early, and... <sighs> do you know how rude that is? You go right next to somebody's place and you just start screaming. Ugh. Yeah, you know... This is actually going to be a bit of a problem because one of the times I was attacked, there were three of them and they were like, one of them was standing on top of this, like beating down on it and such. They were attacking my items and I'm like, yeah, this can be a problem when there's a lot of them, you know? I mean, if I get like 12 of them and they want to destroy my base, you know, they're going to succeed, you know? So, I mean, I'm going to have to think, am I going to build up this area and protect it or am I going to go somewhere else? That's really what it comes down to in the end. One of the benefits of killing the uh, the first boss, of course, I believe it's going to unlock a lot of things, one of which is a couple of motorcycles. So that's something that uh, would be a very good thing to have. Yeah, I think at that point we can figure out where we want to be because, you know, if you look at this, this is the map. And all of that is stuff. So, I mean, the thing is, there's probably a lot better places I can build. I mean, the base down there is going to do us for a while. As I understand it, day five is the first day I can have an explosive zombie. And I, I'm guessing it's that uh, crawler, the guy when he, you know, he dies, he blows up in flames. If that happens next to something that's wood, it's going to catch fire. So we really do need to have everything being stone, including my little platform up above, uh, before that can happen. But then again, this is going to be day three's horde. And we're talking about day five. We're going to do some upgrading. We're going to make sure it's fine. That's one of the reasons I want to extend it right now so that I have a lot more damage going on. So we're going to go down there and take care of that. Uh, when we come back, I want to do some upgrading of my items. It turns out that I can do that. So that's something we're going to do as well. Now, I mentioned the uh, common items or the stuff that we got from the airdrop. And I had some other things too. And I did some merging. And it kind of turned out interesting. And I'm wondering if we have an opportunity here. So I got myself a, uh, a rare German submachine gun. But, you know, this one here only gives a plus 3% damage. Which means if this thing was doing, you know, even 50 damage, it would be 1.5. Whereas the one I'm using is giving me a flat 5 per shot. So I'm going to stay with that one. So there's no purpose for this one. Then it gave me another glaive. The thing with the glaive is that I have one and it's got the 25% critical damage, which I consider to be a lot better, so not really useful. Now, I did get a one-handed tier 3 axe, and it does more damage technically than the nutcracker. It's just the nutcracker does a lot more. So, yeah, these guys I don't really need. So, if I was to say, I don't know, grab these guys and maybe throw some of these in... Because this is just a tier one. Could I get a tier four? Let's find out. All right, let's see. You, you, you. Okay, we're already up to 43 with the three tier threes. 55, 67. All right, so what do we get? A sniper rifle. Ooh, a tier four sniper rifle. That could be very, very useful. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that. We're going to hold on to that. And, you know, as a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do 
Where is it? Here. Let's have some ammo. Uh, this one here. All right, put that back. I'll just keep the 38 um, or 39. You know, in case I want to goof around with it during the Horde night. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so what I want to do is we're going to go down here, and I think I have most of what I need for upgrading. All right, so let me show you what I did. First of all, you'll notice I have the triangles wrapped all the way around here. So I don't want anyone getting stuck because we've seen that before. So they're going to go like this. They're going to go like this. You can see I took the other ramp out. And they're going to go back to the regular uh, thing. So I want to put something here. And yes, I want to put two shredders down. But first, we need to do some upgrades because, you know, even if there's not going to be any fiery explosions now, I want to be ready for it. So let's get going. I believe I should have enough to be doing stuff. So let's go. I'm only going to do this one because, you know, eventually I'm going to take these out. By, five, by day five, I'll actually upgrade them all. But let's just do this one for now. All right, so I'm going to need nails, cement, and bricks. And you can see I'm going to... It wants six of 72, so I'm going to run out of bricks first. I'm hoping I have enough to get the job done. All right, so... And as soon as this is done, we're going to put some traps down. Yeah, I like me my shredders. Okay, let's do this. I am a little bit concerned. Would somebody think to jump from here over to there so that's a little bit of a concern i'm wondering if i should put two walls in there by the way it's too far away from this to actually do anything i was going to move this platform over but two things one you just be pushing off the beginning so what is the purpose of that the other thing is we've seen them fall in here i want them to have a way out so that way they can go back around and come back and do it again so uh, I needed to leave that open. So that's the thing. Um, we're just using that one on the other side. Besides, I wouldn't want this being used like at the beginning because, I mean, I think this one only fires off. Oh, this one needs a repair. I didn't know it got damaged. Right. So this guy only used, got 30 uses before it has to be reused. If you put it at the beginning, it would just be a mess. All right. So let's just do this. So these guys are stone. So they're not going to be burning anytime soon. Now, my platform, you can see I extended my platform over one so that, of course, I can reload these because these guys are going to be getting a lot of use. All right, let's do this. Right, although I do need to start working on that platform up above. So if I have any bricks left over, which I don't think I'm really going to have, Let's see. I mean, I can make more bricks. They're just a little bit on the expensive side. All right, so there you go. That's all. That whole track now is... Um, of course, I have to do these walls, too. Not for now, though. Not for now. Um, I just put them there. See, I wonder what I need. Yeah, I mean, we just do that one for now. All right, so that's what it's going to look like when it's upgraded. All right, so let me get this thing out of my hand. So I have to do this whole part here. As a matter of fact, let's just run through the gambit again here. Yeah, I like these shredders. They're very, very good. Right, this whole thing, I should be able to reach them over here again because I'm going to put shredders down. Now, over here, I was thinking, what about the mallet? I mean, the mallet might be a good idea. I'm a little confused, though. Well, let me show you. All right, so let's go over to traps. And I was thinking the mallet. See, here's the thing. I haven't seen this thing in operation, so I don't really know which way it swings, if you know what I mean. Like, look at it this way. If this thing swung up, then it's not going to do anything. If it swings down, well, it's going to knock them around. I'm thinking if it's like this, right? If it swings to the left, then is anyone going to be there? But if it swings to the right, I don't know. You know, I'm I'm thinking maybe this isn't such a good idea. I mean, look, if I did this, then it's not going to do anything. Whichever way it swings, the only way it would work is if it was pushing something that way. But I want to push them back. So I'm thinking maybe something else. All right, let's just go with uh, the ones I know I want. All right, and of course, that is shredders. Let's put these shredders down here and make sure that they're centered here. All right, 
put it like right to the edge, right about there. There we go. And then let's put another one. Do I want to leave a gap? Yeah, we'll leave a gap just in case in the future if we want to put something there. Okay, by the way. All right. Um, yeah, I'm having some trouble because it's inside of me here. Right, right about there. Let's make sure it's centered. I don't want him walking around it without getting hurt. Oops. Okay, so... I could put something here. I don't know. I mean, do I want to put something here or do I want to put something here? Maybe like, I don't know, the compressor or something? Let's take a quick look at the things that we have available to us. I mean, I could put a guillotine in the middle over there like we did before. It's just that it only fires off 10 times before you have to reload it. All right, what about this one, the compressor? I mean, we could put it like right there. That way they'd have to step on it. Yeah, I looked at this one. Here's the problem with this, is that it's so big, if I put it on the ground, that I can't see. I mean, I might have to do shooting or something like that. It would be nice. I mean, maybe I put it in the beginning. But I mean, I'm doing something to knock them off. See, something like this, you'd want to knock them off if you want them to start the whole thing over again. See, that's the thing. That's the reason maybe the hammer isn't such a... Is it, the problem is I don't know which way the hammer swings. All right, you know what? The hammer is probably a good idea. I, I, I don't know the way it works, but look, I put it down. I'll figure out how it works. Because otherwise, what are my options? This, I'm not going to use that. I can't. I, I probably can't reach the other one too. What about that one? The grinder rotates when zombies come close. I mean, that one looks fun. You know what? That one actually does look fun. All right. You know what? Let's just let's let's put that one down. All right. So it would be like this, I guess, or maybe I should put it here. Wait a minute. Like right there. I might be able to reach that one. I mean, it's kind of tall enough that I might be able to reach it. All right, so that way it'll kind of like spin and grind them up and such like that. All right, so I think that that's probably going to be it. Uh, I can put something here in the future if I feel necessary, but I think that what we need to do is upgrading. Okay, at least I can't jump there. Hopefully they won't figure it out. Um, do I have enough to make a wall? Because I am a little bit concerned about that. Uh, where is it here? Building, wall. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to do something. Okay, build. All right, hold on. I can not see too well all right like that okay and uh, let me get up there yeah because i don't want them jumping over here or something like that actually that's probably going to do the job oh hi how you doing could you test this out for me thanks appreciate it and of course i can reload it from here Hey, look at that. I don't even have to get down on my knees for that. All right, by the way, he's got me a, a little toy down here. That was very nice of you, by the way. Really appreciate it. Okay, it's good that he tested it for us. Um, I just realized one of the things I wanted to do... Is that floating? Oh. I mean, it worked. All right, what I was thinking is I wanted to put more lights up. So let's see. Oh, do I have... I may not have fuel on me. I don't have leaves either. All right, I think I needed leaves for that. All right, let's just go back. And I'm going to be cleaning stuff up around the area here. Because I need seeds and such. Anything happen over here? Okay, well, I did get... 
that. I don't think I have any. Um... All right. So is that a rabbit? There's a rabbit down. All right. We'll just leave that for now. Right. Because I need seeds. I need seeds. Um, but what I needed at the moment. All right. I'm going to take these leaves. And then I believe I need fuel. All right, let me just remind myself. I know I needed those because what I want to do is I want to put more lights down. I need stones, regular stones. I think I had stones in here. All right, stones and then put them all back. Yeah, they stack higher here, but we can actually do something about our stacks in our inventory. That's one of the upgrades I want to do. All right, let's see about putting some lights down. All right, so just like before, I want to put two columns down. I think it's here. Yes, right there. All right. Um, do I want to put one on the inside? No, I don't care if they can see. I care if I can see. All right. Okay, so let's go over to furniture, lights. All right, boom. There we go. And oh, 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 oh. yeah, I'm looking under the ground now. All right, I think that's going to be good. I wanted to keep it away from the stairs because I didn't want it to reduce the amount of possibility of them actually uh, doing something naughty to it, like beating it up. All right, I think that this is good to go. I don't think we should have any problems. I mean, the big guys, they have to go through double the number of shredders now. And then, of course, we have that little mincer, too. So I'm hoping that that is not going to be a problem. All right, so let's... Uh, I should probably put stuff away. I guess I'll just hold on to it for now. I can always put this stuff away afterwards. I could have made one more trap. Did I have the ability to make one more trap? Do I need anything? Okay, sorry about that. Do I have anything here? I could make, I mean, I could put a cutter at the top. Of course, I couldn't reach it, though. All right, you know what? I'm thinking maybe we just put one more thing. I mean, I do have the uh, trap machine, so why not just do it? Uh, right there, just put a cutter right there. Okay, and apparently I had a mission for that. I, I thought I had the mission when I did it the first time. Okay, whatever. I had the extra trap machine, so we'll just leave it there. Once I do kill the boss, I'll be able to get the wrench, and I'll be able to upgrade them so they'll work longer. I don't know if they'll do more damage, but they'll work longer. And eventually, if you get electricity, they'll just always work, as long as there's power, because there's batteries and everything. There's a lot of technology in this game, a lot. As a matter of fact, there's even drones that'll do collection from your automated miners. Tons and tons of stuff. All right, so what I wanted to grab now was two things. I wanted the tape. Do I have more tape up here? Okay, I like the tape, which is a little hard to come by, by the way. I needed something else. Was it bits of iron? All right, because what I want to do, it's over in the equipment bench. Right, I can upgrade my items. For instance, uh, if you look at my glaive, my glaive currently does 90 damage, stability um, 43, and then reduces my movement by 19. But if I select this one, the damage goes up to 99, 46, and it only reduces my... Um, movement by 1805 but it also adds attack speed and that's only going to cost me two bits of iron and one tape so we're going to do that now the next one would cost me that again but i also have that bones i do have bones by the way leather is a tricky one because i don't really know how to do that right now but what i want to do is i want to upgrade everything that i can including nutcracker who is going to go from 42 damage into uh, 46.2, and he's going to get the attack speed upgrade too. All right, so I'm going to upgrade everything that I am currently using of importance. The shield, probably as well. And here's something else. Now, 
you have these bags over here the ammo bag and then you have the food bag and then you have the material bag these guys are basically limiting how much you can carry in one stack like at the moment my ammo is 150 that's the best so if i get the ammo bag and i use the tape and the iron on it and then i was to just reload now they go up to 165 so you can you can carry bigger stacks the same thing with materials as well all right so i can only carry uh three of the iron probably 30 of the copper wire so if i upgrade this and then i refresh it now it's 33 okay so where's the food one the food one probably also handles meds too so that's probably a good idea All right i don't see upgrading the armor because i'm really going to be looking for better armor and these items here i don't really care enough about and besides i am actually running out of tape all right so let's just dump stuff uh, oh, I gotta make sure I don't get rid of all my branches because I need those for reloading, don't I? Uh, hold on a second. Put these here. Put the tape in there too. And put that in there. Yeah, I spent like nearly all of my research, by the way. Here, you take those, take that. Um, the iron, stuff like that. I'm gonna have to get a real, um, a real what's the name of a system but then again like i have to work out where everything's going to go and what i want uh the leaves can go in here because i know there's a, a thousand pile up there and uh you know for now we just put that over there yeah i did a lot of researching um i researched a whole bunch of things around here that let me do them you know after the porter that didn't require me to actually have the books or anything like that and then if you go over to combat None of these, like the guard ones, increasing my ability to block all the way out to here didn't require a book. Now, this one requires a book, so I can't really do that. But I upgraded as many things as I could. And, of course, I have 29 research, so I'm counting on a lot of research there tonight. Yes, I am. All right, so you know what we're going to do now? We're going to wait for the horde. It's going to be a while, and what I'm probably going to do is I'll just do a little bit of cleanup because I do need some things. That reminds me. Did we get anybody? We didn't get any big ones yet. You know, earlier I was over here and there was a, uh, a deer and a wolf, right? So there was a deer here. I cleared it up and I re reset it, right? And I came over here and I did the same thing, turned around, and there was a boar standing here, dead. And I'm like... I know he wasn't there because it's not the kind of thing you would miss. But I mean, basically, it'll happen if you're standing right there. Okay, I don't have any seeds on me at the moment, right? No, I don't. So I need to get seeds to reset that. You know, the thing about seeds is that they require the seeds for, um, for the big traps too, which I don't understand. Okay, so reload. All right, hopefully after the horde, we will have a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for the horde. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more clearing and gathering and such like that. And we will be back when midnight arrives. And here we go. All right, it's going to take them a while to get there. I did load this one up. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I might use it for fun or if somebody gets stuck or something like that. That definitely does need a scope. And I was looking... And I put that away. I was actually looking at it too. Wait on there a minute. Over here. And apparently one of the things you can get is a 16 times scope. So that would be nice. It'll do for now. All right. So let's see. What surprises do they have for us tonight? Because I certainly have a surprise for them, don't I? A whole bunch of extra damage. I'm interested to see what this thing does. I'm more interested to see if I can actually uh, reload it. Because uh, that would give it... Oh, here we come. Here we come. We got our first customer. Step right on down. Step right on down. Okay, he... That one did not... Oh, wow. What are you doing? Okay. All right, come on down.
All right, so far, so good. Yeah, that cutter isn't spinning at all. Oh, wow, we're getting a bunch of these guys, aren't we? Oh, did you just jump? Yeah, that didn't work out. You go back to the beginning now. Oh, that's a heavy. Okay, uh, how is he going to do through this? You just stand... Okay, he's dead. This is good. Okay, so I'm guessing the exploder doesn't make it... Okay, could you not do that, please? That's called being a sore loser. Okay, so that's like a big dude there with... I guess he's like a butcher or something, because he's got cleavers. Yeah. Okay, please stop screaming. Oh, I guess she died, so that's all right. Okay, this guy here is very busy. Um, can I... Uh can I see how you're doing? Oh, wow. You know what? I'm going to give you a reload because, after all, I have a lot of these things. All right. So we will get other heavies, though. At very least, the butcher came through. I have to keep my eyes open. What? Okay. Somebody got all the way to this? How did that happen? Yeah, the cutter's not even turning on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that, that was that was a mistake right there. I shouldn't have wasted the materials on that cutter. Yeah, one of these heavies I have to keep my eye open for, um, because he's got like um, he's got the old uh, scorpion thing where he can shoot it at you and pull you to him, and that's not something I want to happen. Okay, we're getting the. Uh, okay, nope, 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 nope. Don't shoot at me. Don't shoot at me. That's not allowed. Ow! Stop that. You're being mean. Just go into the grinder like you're supposed to. Fortunately, that doesn't set things on fire, but that's another reason to upgrade everything. Okay, it's getting busy. It's definitely getting busy over here. And uh, all of a sudden, that cutter is doing a lot of good. Which means it's probably going to be running out fairly soon. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's another butcher guy. That's not the other one. There's a big guy like him who's got the old um, grappling hook. Okay, you're going through... Okay, that kill. Can I reach that one now? Hold on a minute. Uh, I can't reload that one. Okay, could you stop that, please? You know, I can shoot too. Where is it here? I mean, I'll shoot you guys if you want me to shoot you. Okay, hold that. Nope. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, did that hurt? Oh, yes, it did hurt. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I need a scope for this thing. I can use it for hunting animals, which is really good. All right, let's just put that away. Okay, how is this thing doing? It's still moving. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. You just watch where you swing that thing. Hold on a second. How are we doing over here? Uh, okay, reload. Yeah, there we go. I do want to see what this thing is like. Oh, he's trying to jump to get me. But unfortunately, you were standing in a very inappropriate place, were you? Yeah, I can see a lot of bags already. Okay, you got through? Ooh, and then Stabbo. Oh, no, no, you're moving.
Okay, we got another one of those. I'm glad that the other... I'm gonna really have to keep my eyes open for the other one. The one with the grappling hook. Because if he shows up, that's bad. See, this guy can actually throw at me. But if the other guy pulls me down... Wow, that's a, that's a fun group coming my way, isn't it? I'm gonna need something in here. Something I can reach. I'm guessing maybe the guillotine? Yeah, the guillotine is fired off once because it did actually kill somebody, didn't it? Ah, uh, you gotta love those shredders, right? You gotta love those shredders. Okay, some people do get through, like him, but then he just stands there and then he dies. How very tragic. I really wish they would give us an actual time there at the top so we can see the actual time of day instead of just telling us what hour it is. That would be something that I would like. Maybe make it a, uh, a setting or something like that. Ironically, I think the only way you can do that is if you save the game, it will tell you what time of day you saved in. All right. Okay, what is that? Oh, did somebody get through over here? Well, almost. Yeah, I see ya. I got some more coming here. So far, this is doing very well. A couple have gotten through, but not much. Yeah, I do need to upgrade what I'm standing on to stone, though. It could be a big problem. How much damage is the... Uh, hold on a second. How much damage is this thing doing here? Okay, there's there's one. There's a look, look at that, 99. I mean, these things have been hit a bunch by the explosions. And they're just not doing a lot of damage, are they? All right, well, you know what? That's okay with me. He's mad. Oh, we got a cop here, huh? Isn't that nice? Could you drop me a uniform? There are certain, um, there are certain enemies that will drop um, um, social clothing you can wear, you know, costumes. Yeah, police are one of them. You can drop, you can get a police outfit from a soldier. You can get khakis. And it just goes right over your costume. It goes right into these slots right over here. Otherwise, you can go to a kiosk and spend like 500 for them. Oh, wow. We got a, we got a chain coming in here now. So I guess we're going to get an extra special every time until night five when the crawler comes in. Oh, no, 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 no explosions, thank you. Okay, and not many have gotten this far. She got that far. Congratulations. No, no, no shooting at me. I shoot at you. You don't shoot at me. Of course, I don't want to waste any ammunition because it's not necessary. The chance of someone actually getting to me is absurd. And if they did, well, you know what? I would just do that. Okay, we got we got some more cops. That'd be nice if I could find... The outfit would be in a box. I'm hoping one shows up. Because after all, I'm bringing law to the streets. That's according, that's if you actually call this a street. Excuse me, are you a escape convict? You're under arrest. Okay, we got some more coming over here. We got some more coming here. We are in hour number one. Which means we are over the halfway point. All right, more coming, more coming. 
Now, if I looked over there and saw a bunch of them dancing on my um, base, I would be upset. Oh, oh, somebody got that far. Yeah, and no further than that. Yeah, there's a couple of bags there. Oh, by the way, you know, I should check this one. Hold on a minute. What am I doing here? Oh, what, what is it? Oh, it's 64. You know what? We're just going to reload it anyway. And same thing over here. How many do you have? Oh, you're empty. Oh, yeah. Pay attention to that. That one was empty. Yeah, that was a problem. Wow, look at all those bags. Okay, so I am starting off with 29. Can I get any of that? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I just had some before somebody knocked it over. Ah, you bum. All right, never mind. I'll grab it all at the end. I mean, this thing is okay. It kind of slows them down while they're doing that. And then, poof. Wow, look at all of those. Come on. I want to get some. Come on. Can I get any? I can't reach any of them. All right. How is this thing doing? Um, yeah, I'll just reload it again. I have a lot of branches on me. All right. Could we could we speed this up a bit? I got things to do. Oh, wait a minute. It's saying it's over. But there's no one else coming? Are we actually done? It does appear to be. Unless they're all hiding on me. Okay, well, you know what? We're done. We're done. So let's start grabbing this stuff. And let's grab more of this. And some more of this. All right, and then we go down here. All right, let's take a look around. Oh, that's right. There's a whole bunch probably in here. Yep, there's a big pile in there. All right, let's see. T. T. And T. And we got some more over here. Right, is there any over here? Oh, there's somebody over here. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, I guess he was just running really slowly. Oh, he had a friend. Okay, what happened there? I mean... Ooh, somebody got really far. That's as far as anyone got. This one, I don't think this one activated. You know, if you guys could just be on time, that would be great. Ow. Okay, I can't look at my uh, research data amount because I still have more to get. Okay, I hear movement. Okay, he fell in the middle there. Where are you going? You can't leave. You... Don't hit my light! Ugh. Okay, are we actually done now, guys? Guys, gals, things from the abyss? Alright, grab these. And these over here. And now I have to backtrack. Okay, was this thing... Did this thing activate? No, it didn't. Okay, this one... 
Didn't activate many times. I may have reloaded it. I don't remember. This one, oh, this. This one only twice. I can't be right. I must have reloaded it. Uh, this one, not at all. This one did not activate at all. Okay, I got some up there. Did any fall in here? Yes, one did. All righty. Yeah, when the um, the guy with the... Um, hold on a second. Um, T? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I, I'll reload it. Fine. All right, now I'll get it. When the fellow with the grappling hook comes by, that may end up becoming a problem for me. But until then... Oh, wow. Did all that just happen, or I missed that before? Anything? There's one there. Yeah, that was the guy that I shot. I mean, he was beating on my light. I think that's everybody. We'll take one little spin around. I don't see any more. All right, then let's head on back. All right, that was good. That was good. Yeah, that first one was emptying a lot quicker because there were a lot of them, and because they were tougher, they were causing more activations. So I really do need to keep an eye open for that one. Also, I think that cutter may be out. I should probably check it. All right, so how much did I get? I now have 515. I also have a lot of stuff that I got from them, too which is uh, all kinds of terrific. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So that was the Day 3 Horde. I think at this point, I'm just going to upgrade what I have because I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing a base in another location fairly soon. I can't even see that bird. There he is. It's so dark, I can't see. Got him. Yeah, I know, that was a little bit extreme. I would have used a sniper rifle, but it was dark and I don't have a scope. I need to get a scope for that one. Yeah, because you need the bird meat. Apparently it's good for uh, cooking oil, among other things. Yeah, the cooking oil, where is it? Right over here. If you look at cooking oil, you know, basically bird meat and then animal fat and then herbs. So yeah, want to kill all the birds. Anyway, like I was saying, that's going to be it for now. So we got the day three horde under our belts. I don't think day four is going to be a problem, but you know, the guy with the grappling hook is probably going to show up. So I might want to think of some kind of protective wall situation. You know, I can still reach those guys down there to reset them, but something I can hide behind. It just sounds like a really good idea. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Our next episode, we are going to the military base. We're going to go fairly early because it's going to be a long trip and it'll probably be light by then. So maybe leave at like 3 or 4 in the morning, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to grab everything I need, grab all the ammunition I need, and then we're going to see what happens when we get to the boss battle. It's going to be the next episode, one way or another. And of course, like I said, I'm going to bring materials for a chest and a respawn spot because yeah sounds like a good idea anyway that's going to be it for now if you enjoyed the video please give it a like maybe say something in the comments for the great god algorithm and of course subscribing is a great way to show your support so thank you very much for your attention i really appreciate it and play games because games are fun see ya